Hi, this is Jenny Brav with Radiant Wholeness Healing, and today we're going to be tapping on trust issues. So I invite you to sit comfortably, maybe close your eyes, and just feel into how this might show up in your life. There's a reason you chose to do this video. So just noticing, is there a particular area? Is it just generally? Does it have to do with safety? Is it trusting yourself, others, life, all of the above? And also noticing where that might live in your body, if there's a part of your body that feels tight or on guard. Noticing if there are emotions associated. Also noticing if it feels very charged. If you were to give it a number from zero to 10, 10 being the highest impact on your life, what number would you give it either generally or in this moment? And then when you're ready, you can either open your eyes or keep them closed. I'll be tapping, naming the points, saying things, and having you repeat them either in your head or out loud. The tapping on the side of your hand. Even though it can be hard for me to trust myself, life, other people, that things are going to turn out okay. I'm open to loving and accepting myself deeply and completely. Deep breath. Tapping all over your head. Hi, part of me that struggles with trust. Inside of the eyebrows, I see you. Outside of the eyes. I know this can be hard. Out under the eyes, breath. Under and above the lips. This difficulty trusting life. Under the collarbone. I know it can be hard. Middle of the sternum. And I'm open to sending compassion to any part of myself. Ribs. That got the message early on. Side of the body. That I wasn't safe. Inside of the wrist. That I couldn't rely on the people around me. inside and outside of the other wrist. Maybe that I couldn't trust myself. Had that other people knew better than I did. inside of the eyebrows, that things weren't going to work out. Uh, 
outside of the eyes. I acknowledge this part of myself under the eyes. And now I invite you to close your eyes if they're open. You can keep tapping or stop tapping. I'll be naming the points in case you're still tapping under and above the lips. And feel into any young part of you, any younger self under the collarbone, who is learning not to trust. And again, that could be not to trust life. Things were unpredictable, difficult, or not to trust other people. If people were unreliable, then all this turn in. Maybe learning not to trust yourself, your own judgment, having to follow other people's judgment rather than your own. Maybe it was a combination of all of the above. Just feel into this. You don't have to repeat what I'm saying in this part. Maybe you can envision or just feel that younger you. Tapping on the ribs. And imagining that you're reaching across time and space to that younger self. side of the body and just letting them know that you're there from the future that you know it's a tough time for them you know you're they're getting messages about themselves other people the world it's not completely safe inside and outside of the wrist their wrist and let them know something that might have been helpful for them to hear at the time. That can be that they're not alone, top of the head, that you know that this was a tough time, inside of the eyebrows, that you're proud of them for surviving, doing whatever they needed to outside of the eyes, under the eyes. And this part you can repeat after me, under and above the lips. Hi, younger self. Under the collarbone. I see you, middle of the sternum. I am so sorry. Ribs, that things were so challenging. Side of the body, unpredictable. Inside and outside of the wrist that you didn't know who to trust. Other wrist. And it was so smart of you. All over the head to do whatever you needed to do at the time. Inside of the eyebrows to survive. Outside of the eyes to not feel so powerless under the eye, to disconnect from your own intuition under and above the lips, or to only rely on yourself under the collarbone. That's exactly what you had to do at the time middle of the sternum. Of course, it felt like you couldn't trust anyone. 
ribs. And the truth is, side of the body, none of it had anything to do with you. Rest, even though it felt so personal. Other rest, it had everything to do with them. Their wounds. Head. And the good news is, inside of the eyebrows, we're not little anymore. Outside of the eyes. And I have so many tools and resources you didn't have under the eyes. And I'm learning to trust again under and above the lips. It's possible that we're safe under the collarbone, supported, middle of the sternum. It's possible we can trust our inner knowing ribs. Maybe we can start reconnecting to the inner knowing. Side of the body. I acknowledge all the ways I've been trying to manage and control things. Wrist. With my head. Other wrist. And it's possible that doesn't work so well anymore. Okay, you can pause in the tapping. Close your eyes if they were open. And imagining that you're bringing that feeling of trust into your crown. Just dropping it in and feeling it start to permeate all the neural pathways that have been conditioned towards caution, hypervigilance, being on guard. And then feeling that sense of trust start spreading through your whole body, your nervous system, resetting your nervous system getting it out of fight or flight into a sense of ease and feeling that sense of trust spreading through your bones, your muscles, your organs, the lymph, the tissues, spreading into every cell in your body Lighting up your skin, radiating out into your energy field. I'm taking three breaths here. With each breath, anchoring this feeling even more deeply. When you're ready, opening your eyes, tapping all over your body, taking it out, touching something grounding. Thank you very much. Feel free to subscribe, hit like, turn on notifications. And I will see you next time.